Any surprises here or is it pretty much what we'd expect to see? Uh, and if so, how do, how do you think uh, we can go about overcoming some of these? Uh, cost is always uh, a conversation. Um, I prefer to think of it as value um, uh, and the return on the investment. Um, and it really does depend on that use case and that vertical kind of application of the technology to deliver that, that you know, that business opportunity. And if we broaden IoT out, I think, into being crucial to digital transformation, then it becomes a different conversation rather than just here's a project that's going to cost me uh, money. Uh, but there are ways of, um, of, of certainly managing and controlling that cost, certainly from a connectivity perspective. Uh, working together with Ericsson and, and Bridge Alliance, I think we can address that and provide that connectivity um, in a cost-effective manner. I think the cost is probably a resultant of the rest of those things, like the device, you know, compatibilities, the regulations, as well as the maturity. And because of that, it's both fragmented. And then therefore, if for you to implement the solution, it becomes costly. And then therefore, it creates a value question. And then it becomes a cost problem. So I think it is kind of like a summation and resultants of that. So I don't really see that as a problem. So if you take out the cost and you break it up, probably all the other factors is a component of those things. Cost is really a culmination of all the other problems or fragmentation we see. That's the one thing that you can uh, materialize. The rest are all abstract, right? So I think that's what the, the customer can see. So yeah, if all the smart people around the world can solve this, I'm in good business. I would see that um, market maturity and fragmentation probably being one of the, the core issues that we, we face, uh, certainly in Southeast Asia, but also globally with these particular services. And uh, there's a significant amount of fragmentation at a, in a more granular level. Uh, if we look at connectivity, um, you know, OSS, uh, multi protocol management, is Laura, Sigfox, and Wi Fi still part of the equation? Um, even And even in the wholesale market, where uh, we uh, we sort of encourage fragmentation, where we give we we wholesale MZs at the same time we want to manage the MZs. So it's an interesting um, area to look at. Uh, I suppose that uh, one of the things that challenges us is having to predict the fragmentation before it uh, before it emerges, and uh, a lot of work goes into that. We talk about the IoT connectivity, but I think that from customer perspective, the majority of the cost is probably not related to the connectivity, probably related to the IT or you know, cloud deployment or other type of services, which are all you know, related to their specific project. I think that maybe the customer is thinking about the overall budget and the overall cost control. And also in majority of the case, the cost would be unpredictable and uh, uncontrollable. So I think that I fully agree the result from the customer choice. I think it just comes down to where we are in the journey of the challenges. I think from a cost perspective, to me, that's all around maybe going back to the point that Stephen made about the value of making sure that the solution that you've got has got a certain value um, that will be worth what you need to invest in it. And, and obviously, going back to the harmonization point, and that can be both from a technical perspective and a regulatory perspective, um, that harmonization. Because if you're having to do the same thing but slightly differently, in many different ways, then you're never going to get the scale and you're never going to start driving down the costs that associate with it. So I think it's almost like a two layer. We've got challenges that we need to we need to address to get even the local solutions to scale. But then as we, you know, the promise of IoT is a landscape which is, you know, a, a global platform. So therefore, you know, regulation consistency is gonna be critical to making that a reality. Yeah.